Welcome back guys, uh, continuing the exercise with the PHP navigation using includes. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in some sub-navigation so that when we click on page 2, we get a little bit of a sub-navigation for pages 2A, 2B, 2C, whatever you fancy here, and likewise for page 3 and page 4. Okay. The sub navigation is going to appear within the sub menu layer on the index page. And we'll just drop straight over to the sub navigation include, which is in the includes folder. And we're going to put in some PHP. And a switch case. What I want to do here is I want to pick up which page the variable is at, page 2, page 3, page 4, etc. And depending which page, I want to print out a submenu, uh, page 2A, 2B, and so on. So I'm going to do the case for if the variable is equal to page 2. But I'm also going to do the case for if the variable is on one of the sub pages, page 2A, I think we'll call it, and case page 2B. Now this is basically how you do an OR statement in a switch case. It doesn't matter which one of those is true, the code that follows in this next section before the break statement will be executed. So here I'm going to print a navigation or a hyperlink this is probably going to wrap around the line in a moment and we'll just make it a little bit simpler and it's going to go to the index page with the variable page equals page 2a as the first one. And then so that should say page 2A inside the hyperlink. And we'll also get it to print out 2B and 2C. We'll just go and edit. Just update the variables in the query string. And we're probably, or we will need, a break statement at the end of each one of those lines just to separate it from the next line. Okay, I hope that wrapping isn't too confusing for you there. Um, I'll just zoom out on that a little bit so you can see that a little bit clearer. And then we'll just put in our break for our switch. And then just for now, we'd we'll put in our default which obviously would have been our home page we decided. So whatever we're doing on our home page would appear below that line. If I save that page and just move back over to my index page and inside my submenu layer I can now include that file. Oops, I must include, put that within PHP tags. Easy mistake to make early on. Include 
function and the path will be includes forward slash sub navigation dot php okay we save that and move over to our web page and click on page 2 and there we have 2a, 2b and 2c and when I click on those pages it just tells me it's the home page because at the moment we've got no switch case in the content layer dealing with the variables page 2a, page 2b and page 2c so we'll just go over and do that quickly moving down to our content section may as well do this below the page 2 case I'm just going to add a new case for 2a and break case for page 2b Notice no space in those cases because that's the name of the variable I'm passing over. It's the hyperlink name on the page that's got the space in it. And then the case for 2C or as many other submenus as you choose. Oops, apologies for that. And again, just for debugging purposes, I'm just going to print the dollar page variable just to see we are getting into the correct section and it is what we are expecting. Now if I save that, move over to our page, refresh the page, oops we have an error on line 42, let me just debug that, you might as well watch me debug that, line 42, ah yes I've missed out my semicolon, just pop that back in there, save that, go back and refresh the page, and refresh, and now when I click on 2A, we see we're actually seeing the content in 2A, 2B, 2C. Page 3, page 2, 2A, 2B, 2C. That sums up how we do the navigation between the different pages. I believe you should be able to go on and do page 3 and page 4 by modifying the sub navigation here and adding some additional cases below the break. You just basically repeat the lines above except for 3A, 3B and 3C. Uh, I should also, because we've got a 2C here, we should probably add a case for 2C here. Just add that one in there. Save that. So in the next video we're just going to look at how we can make this a little bit more dynamic by using a database for managing the menu system so that perhaps at a later date you could easily add new menus just by adding records to the database. Thank you.